So one of the reasons that people like text files and writing out uh, their to-do lists and their task lists in text files and maybe even their notes in text files rather than using, say, something like Evernote or TickTick is that text files are easily portable, right? Uh, no one company owns uh, text files. Uh, that's different than, say, an Evernote database. If you have all of your notes within an Evernote database and Evernote decides to um, stop business tomorrow, where does that leave you with your notes? And same is somewhat true with TickTick, right? Um, we keep our tasks within TickTick, but if TickTick decides that they're no longer going to be operating tomorrow, um, do you know what you're going to be working on tomorrow? Um, so I started thinking about that and, and maybe um, a workaround that's available within TickTick, and that is the backup to CSV. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So over in the uh, web app, I don't think this is available in either the Windows or the uh, Mac app. And I'm definitely sure it's not available via mobile, but on the web app itself, it is available. So if you go to the web app and you um, click on your profile picture and go to settings. And if you scroll down over here on the left side, you'll see a backup and import option. If you click on that, uh, there's the first button is Generate Backup, and it says you can backup your TickTick -tick data and export it as a CSV file. A CSV file basically meaning a common delimited text file. So pretty much a text file that you could take somewhere else if you wanted to, or just keep as a backup um, in case TickTick -tick decides to close their doors tomorrow. There's also some options here to import backups. So maybe you've uh, taken a couple backups and then you realized uh, as you went along you messed up all your tasks somehow, you deleted them all, you can't get them back. Well, you have the option to import a backup that you've taken previously with the import backups option. And then also there's some options down below to import from other task managers. I have never used any of these um, import options before, so I can't say whether they work good or not. Uh, but what I'm going to focus on today is the Generate Backup. And I'm going to go ahead and click the Generate Backup button. And for me, it takes just a second. Um, for you, it might take a little longer depending on how many tasks you have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. You can see it's going to save as a CSV file. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Open it up over here in my other monitor. I'm going to drag it over here. All right, so this is kind of what the CSV file looks like. Looks like about row four is where the real titles start. So there's the folder name, list name, title of the task. This is a little bit interesting, this kind. So I'm going to go to data and just click on a filter. That way I can see the options. So under kind, it looks like there's text, note, or checklist. So that's a little interesting. Text, I assume, means task in this case and then note would mean note, and then checklist as a checklist. Okay, uh, next column is tags. Content, I'm gonna make this a little wider here. So content looks like um, the description of the task, and if there was any attachments. When you take this CSV backup, uh, you're not gonna have any of the attachment details. So besides knowing that your task did have an attachment, when you took the backup, you're not going to have the actual attachment with it. All right, so what are the other options here? Is checklist. That looks like it's a no or a yes, and that looks like it's uh, pretty similar to the kind. You know, if, if the kind was checklist, it also looks like there's a Y in the is checklist column. So priority looks like uh, most of them are zeros, but there's also some ones, some fives. Um, so what this means is actually... Zero means that a no priority flag was set. A one means the blue priority flag was set, or the low. Three means medium, or orange. And five means red, or highest priority. So that's what those mean. The next one is status. Now this one, they actually give you a key. If you scroll back over to the left to column A3, it tells you status. Um, let me make this just a little bit wider. So zero is normal which basically means the task is open. One means the task is completed. Two means archived. And what I found interesting about that, since I have my filter on, 
Um, if I look here, I can see that one of my tasks, or at least one of them, has a negative one status. Um, so let me just scroll down here, see if I can't find that. So here is my one of them, the negative one status. And what I found that that means is if you ever click the uh, won't do option within TickTick, -tick, uh, that gives you a negative one status. So rather than check it completed, you mark it as won't do. That's a negative one. So that's another thing to point out is that this export gives you all of your tasks that you've ever entered into your TickTick, -tick, which is good to know, right? So if you've completed the task, it's here. If you've marked it as won't do, it's here. Um, if it's an open task, it's here, right? So it's, it's everything. So the next field is called order. Now I think that's um, talking about the order that the task was within the app itself. So if you had like a manual sort order, um, it would keep track of where that task is. So that might be useful if you're importing that back up back into TickTick, -Tick, but uh, I don't think it's probably too useful if you're just kind of looking at the text itself and this data itself within the CSV file. Uh, time zone is all day is floating. I'm not exactly sure what is floating would mean. Looks like all of mine are false. Uh, next one is column name. So what I found that means is, you know, if you have sections within a, uh, within a list, that would be the column name. So these are different sections that I have within a particular list. And then the next one is column order. So it kind of keeps those columns within a specific order. Again, if you were going to re-import this back into TickTick, um, the order is not going to be too useful to you outside of TickTick. So view mode, um, it looks like all of mine are list. But I think what this would mean is if you have some of your lists within the Kanban view, uh, rather than the list view, it would show, you know, Kanban view here. Um, and then the final columns here are just a task ID, and I think that's just a... Uh, that's just a, an identifier. And then also the uh, parent ID. So if it's a subtask, it's gonna also know the parent ID here. I'm just kind of scrolling through here. See if there's anything else I'd need to mention. So there's also the, uh, the repeating. So this column is called repeat. And basically, um, so this one is repeating uh, weekly. Let's see, I have one that's repeating monthly. Looks like it gives the interval here, so maybe it's every six months, something like that. So it also keeps track of the uh, repeat uh, intervals as well, so that's, that's pretty useful. All right, so one last thing I wanted to show you on this is we've been looking at this CSV file in Excel, but it is truly a common delimited text file, and I'm going to prove that to you by just using a text editor. So I'm going to drag over uh, Sublime Text, which is what I use for text editing. And I'm going to go to File Open and open that same CSV file that we've been looking at. And you can see here that uh, this is all the same data that we've been looking at. I'm going to change my view to uh, not word wrap. And so this is the exact same data it's just in a comma delimited file. It's a little harder to look at in this uh, text editor, and that's why we've been looking at it in Excel. But I did want to point out that this is truly a text file, not an Excel document. All right, so just a quick video showing you the option within TickTick -tick to take it back up to a CSV file, which essentially is a comma delimited text file, so it's easily portable to maybe another system if you want to, or maybe to... Um, just keep for peace of mind, just in case, you know, TickTick -tick decides to close their doors tomorrow, you have all of your data uh, maybe stored off on your uh, hard drive so that you don't need to worry about uh, trying to extract data uh, real quick if TickTick -tick decides to uh, close their doors. Not saying that they will, and I, and I hope they don't. Uh, I'm just showing the option here that they give you. So, um, and, I, and I think it's very good that they do give that option. That way, uh, that way you always do have your data. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.